Don Giovanni, for me, is, an, is somebody who is amoral. You know, he has no morality, he has no ethics. He is totally opportunistic in his relationships. So therefore, he has also never a deep relationship with somebody. You would call it with the modern word a sociopath, you know, somebody who has no real empathy for somebody else. We never situate a production in a certain era. We always try to make it into something that if you see it in 10 years, it would be contemporary. If you would have seen it 10 years ago, it would have been contemporary. So also in the costumes and in the design, it's an attempt to make universal dramas. What we see on stage is actually a street. We are on the street, public life, outside. You never see what's happening inside of the buildings. So it's a street with five buildings on it. The buildings pivot slowly so that what seems to be a street also can become a prison, a closed space, and that's what happens uh, at the famous moment at the end with the Commendatore, when he appears that suddenly this whole set closes and he is in his own prison, you could say, the prison that he created himself. I saw Peter Matte already in two Don Giovanni's, which were famous productions. He is a fabulous singer, of course, but also a fabulous actor. This is the perfect mix, and that's what you need for a Don Giovanni. And he will bring all his knowledge to this production. We shouldn't forget that the original title was not Don Giovanni. That was in Italian, Il Punito Disoluto. And that means the criminal perished. How clear can it be? It was not the attractive, seductive Don Giovanni that was of interest to Mozart. He made his verdict clear in his title. The criminal should be punished. Mm -hmm.